from Sete Design, and today I'm here in my paint studio in Wine Country, California, and I thought it would be fun if Sete Design would pick a color of the season. So, my color of the season for Sete Design, that would be winter 2021, is this color here. This is called Green Flash by Folk Art. You can get it at little, in little tubes at Michael's Folk Art, and it's called Color Shift, and it's a metallic. So. Oh, if you don't want a metallic, I have also picked a Benjamin Moore paint color, 405, perennial. It's good to look at colors against white. And that's like a moss green. But what's exciting about this color is it's very luminous. So here's my inspiration, cashmere sweater. And you can see how the color has yellow in it and it has light coming out of it. So it's a very luminous color. And then when you make it into metallic, it's fantastic. So today we're going to paint this chair. Um, here I have it with, on wood, and this is the folk art green flash color, and here with other greens underneath it shows. So today I'm going to do it on the wood, and then stick around to the end because I'm going to take you to see some vine covered buildings. Here in Napa Valley we love our vines and we love to cover our architecture and vines too, as many places in the world. So here we go, we're gonna have a bunch of fun. Pick up your paintbrush. I'm gonna paint with the grain where possible and probably do two coats. Here, because there were water stains or some kind of ring-like stain on the seat of the chair, I've put a coat of gray acrylic on top, so that should block the stain from coming through. We'll see. And then I'll do green on top of this. Here we are with two coats of green flash folk art paint 
and I ended up doing that gray on the on the seat because I wanted it to not show the stains. And I had even tried to sand them down before and that still didn't work. So I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I have one daughter who agrees with me that because I kind of want to distress it where I take a piece of sandpaper and sand the edges because I think metallic distressed looks amazing. And then I have another daughter who says, no, leave it. Don't touch it. So what do you think? I love it. I'm thrilled. And I think it could be fun with a pretty cushion on it or I don't know, in the garden, anywhere. Love it, beautiful moss green, glowy, and candles for the winter. Yeah, I think it's gonna be just really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to take you on a design journey here in the wine country and we're going to look, go look at some architecture covered in vine. Vine houses, vine wineries, vine inns. We are crazy for vines here. <laughs> and grapevines, of course. Would you want a vine covering your house? You can think about it as you look at this. Pretty cool, but could you live with it? Does it get watered? Are the mice and bugs climbing up it and into your windows? That was always my question. Are you willing to live with screens on your windows? That could resolve the problem a little bit. Um, here we go. Okay, remember to like and subscribe. Click that little notification um, button below and then they'll tell you when I have a new video out. Also, I've finished my course on painting techniques. I've worked extremely hard on it. It is now live and you can go to the link below if you're interested in doing an intensive painting course for art, interiors, or walls. Come join in. It's really a lot of fun. Hey, welcome to Set Day Design. Here we are in Wine Country, California. I've got a wonderful example of modern architecture behind me. We've got, um, what I love about this building is the, how the garden literally hides the architecture of the house. This is a stucco house with vines all over it. So in my opinion, and I'm no authority, it would be good for the fires that we have here. It would protect the house. Maybe not from a raging fire coming through, but it would protect it from embers flying. And all the plant and garden is, plants and garden are uh, drought resistant, which is just what we need here. Um, the windows reflect more greenery, which is beautiful. The roof is metal, so that's gonna be fire resistant too. And, um, I just think it's really cool and inspirational. Yay!
Here's one of my favorite houses in the Napa Valley with the corrugated metal roof, stone building, and then this inner little courtyard before you pass through to the house. And then all vines on this first building. Okay, I hope that inspired you and go ahead and get in your studio or your kitchen table and get painting.